Welcome to the Turn Anonymous Website Traffic into Prospects in the Buying Cycle using a simple digital visitor list webinar. My name is Don Sepsik and I'll be your host today for the next 40 to 45 minutes. And today I want to show you how to take anonymous website visitors and turn them into known prospects in your sales funnel. So what are you going to discover today on this webinar? Well, first, you're going to learn how to identify anonymous website traffic. And when I say anonymous, I mean people that come to your website and they don't identify themselves. They don't sign up for a list. They don't purchase a product. They're just poking around quietly in the background. Next, you're going to take those anonymous visitors and you're going to see what pages they visit on your website where they go, and what they do. And finally, once these anonymous visitors are known, at least some sort of information, I'm going to show you how to get real-time alerts when they visit your website. So first of all, I want to pause and let you know who this is for, this webinar. This webinar is for you if you are a B2B company who wants business intelligence about website visitors. And number two, if you're frustrated with being left in the dark about these anonymous website visitors. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard the latest statistic, but 98% on average of website traffic is, is anonymous. Now, what does that mean? That means people that poke around on your website they don't sign up for an email list, they don't make a purchase, they don't go to your chat bot and, and tell you their name, but they're there and they're visiting. And 98% of that traffic is never picked up and turned into an identified lead with personal information. And this webinar is powerful because I'm gonna show you how to tip the odds in your favor to get more intelligence on those 98% of visitors. Now, I want you to imagine if you could wave a magic wand, and as soon as you did, you could turn anonymous website visitors into known prospects in your sales funnel. You could learn each and every web page that these anonymous visitors visited. And finally, the moment these anonymous visitors landed on your website and started poking around, what if I could give you digital real-time alerts for when they arrive on your website and what they do. How would that change your business? How many of those 98% of anonymous website visitors could you take with this intelligence and turn them into known leads and possibly even customers? Now I'm gonna show you how to get my version of that magic wand in just a moment. But first, why should you listen to me? Who am I to tell you about anonymous website traffic? Who am I to tell you about website traffic in general? And why am I the person to tell you and help you to identify this traffic? And that's a great question. Again, my name is Don Sevcik, and I specialize in organic search engine traffic, converting leads on your website, and more importantly, if you lose a conversion, I can show you how to pick it back up and plug the hole in your, in your sales funnel. So I've been doing this for 11 years now. And I run the website, mathcelebrity.com. And in peak traffic months, we get 450,000 unique visitors. And I want to ask you a question. How much money do you think I spend to get that traffic. I'm going to pause for a moment and let you write it down. Just write it down on a piece of paper or type it out. Take a guess. How much money do you think I spent? Now in 2017, let me give you one more hint. We got 3.5 million, yes, million with an M, unique organic visitors. So take a guess how much it costs. Zero dollars and zero cents. So I've made it my, 
passion, my mission, the last 11 years, to get clients more organic visitors, more search engine traffic, and once that traffic pours in, I'm going to give you the tools to pick up anonymous visitors and turn them into known leads in your sales funnel. So with that, let's continue. On the screen right now is a testimonial from a software that I'm going to introduce you to later in, later in the webinar. Now, Rebecca Went works for Hotel Chocolate. She's a corporate sales manager. And using this, and I'm going to give you my nickname for this software, it's the Digital Visitor List. And now that doesn't sound like much, but when you see what this Digital Visitor List can do, it's going to change your business forever. And so Rebecca used the digital visitor list and saw a return on investment of about 900%. Again, this is taking anonymous leads, identifying them, and turning them into leads and eventually sales. So like any good story, you can't get to the good without starting with the bad. And I'd like to take you back to my dark days to first show you how to avoid the stupid mistakes I made. And secondly, even more importantly, what I learned from these mistakes. I want to cut your learning curve by years, save you a bunch of headaches, and tell you what not to do. So as I said, I run the website mathcelebrity.com. It's an automated online math tutor. I also have a few other websites that I manage as well as some websites for my clients. I started my first website in 2007. And so my initial goal was, hey, let's put a website up. We'll build some, we'll build some pages, tell a few people, and hey, the world will come to us, right? Wrong. For the first two months after I built this website in July of 2007, we got five visitors. Five. Nobody knew about us. Nobody knew what we did, and nobody cared. And so part of the dark days was realizing that unlike the famous quote, if you build it, they will come, that's not true. If you build it correctly and you serve people correctly, eventually, if you don't make any dumb mistakes, then yes, they will come. That should be the modified quote. So after a few years in the dark days period, we eventually got a few hundred visitors a month. And then after about six years, our name started getting out there. And we started getting traffic from Google, from Bing, from Yahoo, from forums, from help sites, and even word of mouth. So we eventually hit in 2014, 250,000 visitors in 30 days without spending a single penny on traffic. Now, I know if you're listening to this out there, you're thinking, well, Don, that doesn't sound like a problem to me. That sounds like one of those good problems to have. And at first glance, it may seem like it. But here's the problem. In 2014, we had a problem, and I call it high traffic but low intelligence. And the low intelligence is what we knew about our visitors. So sure, we had 250,000 visitors. Sure, we had Google Analytics installed, but we didn't know that much about them. We know they needed help with tutoring. We know some of them needed additional help with more difficult problems. We know some of them signed up for an email list, but our conversion rate was low. So out of those 250,000 visitors in 30 days, even with Google Analytics tracking, even with goal tracking, even with an email list, I could tell you intelligence, real personal intelligence, about maybe 500 of them. That is sad. And so the 250,000 visitors brought me out of the dark days strategy, but into the blinders. I call it the blinders period. So I have all this traffic, but I have blinders on and I don't know what I'm doing, where these people are going. Are they coming back? What do they like about our site? What's going on? And so even though I had a few people signing up for my email list, 
Some people sent me feedback. Some people even called my 800 number to tell me what they thought. 98%, probably even more, I fit that statistic I told you at the beginning. 98% of those visitors, completely anonymous. I don't know where they come from. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I can track a few pages, but I can't see if they come on a Tuesday and come back on a Thursday if that's the same person. There's 200,000 plus visitors that I don't know anything about. So we went from the dark days and I moved to the blinder days. And finally, by almost pure accident, and I'm this is one of the happiest accidents I've ever had, I, I find myself on a webinar for sales and marketing. And one of the hosts mentions a tool, which I like to call the talking business card. Now, it's important you know about the talking business card because this was the beginning of the journey that led me to the digital visitor list I'm going to show you later on in this webinar. But the principle of the talking business card is extremely important for the technology that I'm going to show you. So I had a breakthrough in 2017 on this webinar. And it was basically intelligence delivered on a platter. And what this what happened was a simple digital business card led me to a visitor list software for your website. Now, before we get into the digital visitor list, I want to show you another testimonial from a proud user. Phil Law is sales director of Pink Sheep. And after using the digital visitor list to identify anonymous leads, Phil said, we're leaps and bounds ahead of our competitors. And that's a perfect quote because if you could take 98% of your traffic and even figure out what 2% of them, who they were, what they did, when they did it, how much would that change your business? If you're only converting 2% right now to learn about another 2% of anonymous visitors, you're doubling your conversions. You're doubling your intelligence. So, you're probably asking, why am I teaching this? As I told you earlier, I'm very passionate about free traffic. I've been doing it for 11 years and counting. And I know that lead generation powers any business. Without leads, without prospects, without sales, the business dries up and dies. And I also have learned that anonymous leads, remember that 98%, if you, if you forget every other statistic you've learned, remember that 98%. 98% of anonymous visitors cost businesses millions upon millions of dollars every year. And I'm passionate about teaching because I love automation. And if there's a way to automate lead generation and sales and to improve your business, I'm always out there on the hunt for it. Because one of my personality flaws, and people laugh about this, and I'm going to make a personal admission to you, I have zero patience. I mean, consider this a, a birth defect. Consider it a personality flaw. I can't sit around for more than five minutes if I'm learning about traffic and I don't know a way to automate it or improve it. And so when I was hit with this 98% statistic, it drove me crazy. And to not know what to do, to not know where to go, it, it's a frustrating feeling. And so one of the pieces of the learning curve that I'm going to speed up for you is how to fix this problem and how to fix it with software. So what you're going to discover today is who visits your website. I'm talking about anonymous visitors. What these anonymous visitors do on your website. And finally, how to get their contact information. And if you stay to the end of the webinar, I have two additional gifts to help you with growing traffic on your website. And if you like gifts, I've got the gift box here. I'd like to give these to you at the end. So when I'm finished showing you about this, this digital software, I'll give you these gifts. So let's start with who visits your website. Now let's think about the intelligence of people who visit your website. We want to know demographics, right? So we want to know name. We want to know the company they work at if possible or do they own a business. We want to know what country they're from. 
and we want to know any other personal details we can gain because the more intelligence we have, the higher the probability swings in our favor to get those people on our email list and convert them into a sale. Remember the talking business card. Well, who visits your website, the who, is what drove me to the webinar I told you about, which was the happy accident, which drove me to the talking business card. Now let's think about a paper business card first, and I'm gonna show you how powerful the talking business card is. Now imagine you've probably been to conferences, meet and greets, networking events, I mean, we've, we've all been subjected to them. And I can share my personal experience. About two years ago, I was at a networking event. It's one of those meet and greets where you get two drink tickets and you switch every 10 minutes and go shake as many hands as possible. And everybody's passing around their business card, just passing it around. So, hi, my name is John Doe. I do this. Here's my business card. Call me if you're interested. By the end of the night, on average, when I went to these events, I collected anywhere between 30 and 60 business cards in a two-hour period. Some people even left them on the table with a note. Hey, if we didn't get to meet, here's my business card. Now, what happens when you or somebody you met that you passed their business card, what happens when they go home? Out of, let's, let's say use a nice round number of 50 business cards. Out of 50 business cards, maybe two people stuck out in your mind. Now, these are the type of people that have a personal, an electric personality. You just, you can't forget them. And so the probability works in their favor that, yeah, maybe they, they struck an impression on your mind so much that you wrote down a note for yourself to give them a call. Or you left yourself a, a note or a calendar message to go check out their website or inquire about their business. But chances are 48, 49 of those business cards either sit around, get thrown in the garbage, get lost in a pile of paperwork on your desk or at your house, and without any notifications, without keeping them at the top of your mind, what happens? You forget about them. Now let's flip that script. Let's say you passed out 50 business cards at the same event, 50 business cards. Let's assume that you didn't make an idiotic display out of yourself. You had good, quick meetings with everybody, introduced yourself, passed the business card out, and that was it. What happens when these 50 people went home? What happened to your business card? Is it in the garbage? Did it get lost in the paperwork? Did these people decide not to call you? You see, the problem with the paper business card is nothing is trackable. Now let's assume that 10 out of 50 of the paper business cards you passed out actually went to your website and checked it out. But let's say they got distracted or they forgot after they're on the website, they never signed up, they never called you, they never got on your email list, they just, they just did a quick five minute sneak peek what you do, who you are, and for whatever reason, they never got back to you. Now, maybe they connected with you on LinkedIn, but again, without that, nothing is trackable. You don't know what they did, where they went, and why they did what they did. So, how do we solve this problem? How do we solve this on a website? Well, if you've ever heard of the IP address, the IP address binds a unique code to every device that connects to the internet. So for example, I'm at my laptop. I have a code that uniquely identifies my laptop to anybody who's tracking IP addresses. And if you want a free tool to use to see this in action, you can go to www.whatismyipaddress.com and you're gonna use the lookup feature. And what that's gonna tell you is the IP address of your device. But there's also a way to look up IP addresses that you capture on your website. Now, if you have programmers to help you with this, there's a way to pick up the IP address of any device that visits your site, assuming that they're not blocking it. So that's one free tip you could use to at least start gathering IP addresses. 
Now, as we move closer to the digital visitor list that I cannot wait to share with you, I'm on the edge of my seat to give you this software. I'm going to share one more testimonial. Tim McCormick is CEO at Business Transition 360, and he said the stars are the digital visitor list is a game changer for our business. And honestly, the word game changer doesn't even begin to describe how powerful the digital visitor list is. So, as we get closer to the digital visitor list and what it can do, let's move into part two of our presentation. And that is, once anonymous visitors land on your website, what do they do? So what are some things you can track and what are some things you can learn to find out what anonymous visitors are doing? Well, you can track pages they visit, how many pages they visited, which pages they visited, how long did they stay on each page? Did they stay on one page three times as long as the other? And finally, do they convert? So even if an anonymous visitor converts and we have software and CRM software can pick up an IP address and tie it to an email, but that's only once they convert on your email list. And before they convert, all these CRMs can do is what I just showed you how to do for free is track IP addresses. The real challenge is tying the IP address to any personal and actionable intelligence. Well, I'm going to use a Donald Rumsfeld quote here, the unknown knowns. We have known visitors that are easier to track, right, because they sign up for email address, email list, and their email address, once they sign up, we track the IP address that was used to fill out that information. Then we can also track their page viewing habits. But until they sign up, all we have, if we even get it, is the IP address and the pages they visit. And I want you to think about tr how to track anonymous visitors and, and the task at hand. I don't want you to treat this lightly. I compare this to the search for the Loch Ness Monster. We all, you know, everybody thinks they've seen the Loch Ness Monster, knows somebody that saw him but they've never seen them in person. And I like to compare that to IP addresses. Sure, we can all track IP addresses with our website software, but how many of us have the time or the software to go tie these IP addresses to a person, to an email, to a company, to any type of actionable intelligence? And there's a complex setup for IP tracking to your website pages. And even if you get all that set up, manual research needs to be done now to tie that IP address information unto, into any actionable, personable information that you can use. So let's think about some visitor contact information that we could get for anonymous visitors. If we, were, if we had the right software and if we had our timing right. We get email address and name, at least a first name. We get additional details. Do we know the company this person works at? Do we know what country they're in? Do we know any other demographic or business details about the IP address and what they're doing? And most importantly for anonymous visitors who don't convert, how do we get this information? What setup can you do to get all this information, pick up the IP address, get the business information, and turn it into actionable intelligence. And I have your answer coming very soon. And let's rewind back to the business card that talks. Because this is one step away from the digital visitor list. Now remember that webinar I told you I jumped on, which was my happy accident? And how it led me to this discovery of how to identify anonymous visitors? On this webinar, they presented the same frustrations of passing out a business card. They talked about the same problems. I go to networking events. I pass out my information. I don't know who's doing what. Well, it turns out somebody was listening. And there's a company out there called... CardTap, C-A-R-D-T-A-P-P, -P, who invented a digital business card. 
And I immediately signed up for this and used it. Now here's what's amazing about this software. And again, this is not the digital visitor list. So if you're clicking away to go get the card tab, this is not the software to use for your website. Card Tap, or the business card that talks, is an installable app on your mobile phone. And what it does is you could text it or give a download link to the people you meet at networking events. And when they download it, your personal app shows up as an icon. There's a picture of your face. And when they click it, you can add additional information, your website, your social media links, your FAQs, your About You page, any books you've written, any, any intelligence, any personal digital capital that you've built up, you can load up onto this business card that talks. But here's the fun part. Whenever anybody installs your app after a networking event, because first of all, you stand out. Whenever anybody installs that app and they open it up, it sends you a private notification behind the scenes this person doesn't even know. So it's going to tell you, you, John Doe, open your, your mobile app. But here comes the fun part. When John Doe clicks through your app to each little navigation link, your website, your social media links, your About Us, your FAQ, as John Doe navigates around your app, every time John Doe clicks another button within your personal business card that talks, it sends you an instant notification. Who's clicking, what they clicked, and what they did during that mobile app session. Now this blew my mind because this immediately told me if I go pass out 50 digital business cards, I'll know everybody who opened my app. I'll know what links they clicked. I'll know when they clicked them. But here comes the fun part. Imagine that you call John Doe three minutes after he clicks out of your app. They asked that question on the webinar I was on, and they gave one of the most powerful answers I've ever heard. They said, if you call John Doe within three to five minutes, even 15 minutes after he's loaded up your app and you were notified, the first comment most people usually got was, hey, I was just thinking about you. I was just taking a look at your app. Now, I want you to think about this. How powerful is it when somebody's researching your business and you know what they're doing and you know the time they do that, what would happen if you called them back 15, 5, 10, 20 minutes after they were just on your website? How powerful is that? You're already on the top of your mind. They're already looking up your business. They're already researching you. There is no better time on the planet to call or email or text than right after they were looking you up right after they were researching your business. And so the business card that talks led me to a one-year search for an equivalent application, equivalent software that could do the same thing, but not on a mobile app, but to install on a website. <clears throat> and so what happened was I ran a search on LinkedIn for the next few months. I'm looking for lead generation experts. I'm looking for sales experts. I'm looking for marketing automation people. Anybody who shares my challenge. And I ran a search far and wide all across LinkedIn because I figured if I can't find them on LinkedIn, I just can't find them. And I met, and I met, a, and I met a guy who shared the same passion I did. This guy has been in the, the traffic game for a long time, just like I have. He's passionate. He's constantly out there researching. He's passionate about automation. And he told me the same thing of what we found on the business card that talks. He told me, you got to capture IP addresses. You got to research the information and you got to follow up with these anonymous leads. Now, so far, you've discovered on this webinar for anonymous visitors to have a shot at converting the 98% of anonymous visitors floating around on your website. You need to know who they are. Start with an IP address. Get, get intelligence if you can. You need to know what they do on your website. Where are they going? What are they doing? And finally, capture any contact information. Now, if they don't sign up for your email list, 
you need to try to reverse engineer an IP search, an IP address, and see what you can dig up on the web for this particular person. And if you learn nothing else during this webinar, I hope you get this one thing. When you fail to identify anonymous leads, it costs you money. Now, as we said, 98% of your web visitors remain elusive. And if you let those 98% of visitors go without even trying, without even tracking, I have no better phrase to tell you than you're flushing money down the toilet. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, that's great, Don. I know that there's anonymous traffic out there. I know I need to track it. I know I need to get digital intelligence. But how do I make this happen? Because you don't just want to be listening and saying, great, I know what to do. How do I do it? So you've got two choices. You could take the research I gave you and you can do manual trial and error. You can have your web programmer set up an IP a tracker. You could start looking up IP information. And then the next time that person visits your site, you could set an alert. But here's the problem with that. If you get 500, 1,000, 10,000 visitors, that is a lot of research manual that you need to do. You need to collect all that information, put it in the database, and then you need to have your timing set for when these visitors come back, how to set an alert, how to try to convince them to get their contact info, or even if you have it, how to convince them to sign up. Or, option two, since I am a lover of automation and I would hate to see anybody on this website waste countless hours when there's a software to do it for them, <coughs> you could get results quickly using automation. Now what you're looking on the screen, what you're looking at on the screen here is one of the most biggest breakthroughs in digital intelligence and anonymous traffic in the last decade. Finally, we've reached the digital visitor list. And so this is a screenshot for an account that uses the digital visitor list. This is anonymous traffic <coughs> intelligence. Now take a look at the screenshot. We have date, we have time, we have company, we have location, we have the referring search engine, or the referring method of how these people came in to your website. We have the duration there on your website, and we've given different methods for converting these visitors. This is a simple digital visitor list that gives you all this information. And once installed on your website, it tracks all this information for you automatically. So with that being said, I want to introduce you to one of the most powerful traffic intelligence software you will ever come across. I'd like to introduce you to Lead Forensics. Now, remember that guy I told you about before that I met on LinkedIn who told me about anonymous traffic? His name is Jason Rowe. And we've been LinkedIn contacts for a while now. We love to exchange information. <clears throat> and his company, Lead Forensics, gives you a 100% automated solution that sits in the background of your website to track everything we just talked about. Lead Forensics has the largest IP address intelligence database on the planet, which means all this research has been done for you hand delivered so when a visitor visits your website lead forensics tracking code will pick up their ip address go to their database deliver all this intelligence for you on a platter and it will notify you when these people are on your website now before i give you the juicy details i want to tell you who this is not for as we said at the beginning of the webinar if you're not a B2B company, please click off. This is not for you. If you don't sell B2B services or products, this is not for you. 
If you don't call clients and organize deals, if you're not serious about converting the 98% of anonymous traffic that hits your site, this is not for you. Please click off. And number three, this is not for you if you don't have one hour a day for the next seven days to take a look at how powerful this automated software is and what it can do for your business. Now, I have a special offer for you today, and I'm going to pop a button up in just a second. You can click there to get this offer. I want to give you what I like to call the traffic trifecta. <clears throat> so the traffic trifecta, you're going to get three things. You're going to get a seven-day, no-obligation, free trial to lead forensics. <coughs> you're going to get a free copy of my book, Free Traffic Frenzy, How to Get 450,000 Website Visitors. And I'll explain what's in that book in a moment. And finally, part three of the traffic trifecta, you're going to get my LinkedIn video training. And this is one of the reasons I met Jason. It's an automated solution to get to 10x your LinkedIn contacts in the next year, spending 90 seconds a day. So first, for lead forensics, you're going to be able to identify anonymous visitors in an automated fashion. You're going to get their company name. You're going to get their business details. You're going to get the contact names of the decision makers at the company where these anonymous visitors work. And the value of the free trial, of course, is $0. And I've, I've worked out a deal with Jason. If you take the free trial today, he's going to give you seven days no obligation to check out the lead forensic software on your website. Part two of lead forensics. Lead forensics is going to track every page your anonymous visitors visit. It's going to pop alerts for you when they visit, and it's going to show you the most popular pages on your website that these anonymous visitors navigate to. Finally, part three of the lead forensics intelligence software visitor contact information there's no more hunting around try to connect an IP address to a company and a company to decision makers it's all been laid out for you on a automated platter there's no work for you to do you're going to get decision maker names you're going to get their phone numbers you're going to get their email addresses so let's say that an anonymous visitor comes to your website three times next week. Lead Forensics is going to pick up the company they work for if they have it in their IP address database. <clears throat> next, it's going to show you all the decision makers at that company. So now it's going to give you a way to get around the gatekeepers. It's going to say, hey, people from your company are visiting our website. Why don't we set up a call? Let's talk more about what we can do for your company. And I want to give you bonus number one. <clears throat> if you take the seven-day, no-obligation free trial today with Leave Forensics, I'm going to give you a digital copy of my free Traffic Frenzy book. This book contains the intelligence for the last 11 years, since 2007, of every single trick I've used, I've built, I've learned to build my website from the dark days of just five visitors to 450,000 unique visitors per month in peak traffic months and 3.5 million visitors in 2017. And if you remember at the beginning of the webinar, I get all that traffic without spending a single dime. This 190-page blueprint is going to give you the steps you need to take, actionable information, to take and steal every single secret, every single tactic I've used to grow my site, free traffic, including automated solutions where you set up once and then forget it. And finally, I'm going to give you the things I've done wrong. <clears throat> part of getting better, part of growing your business is avoiding stupid mistakes. And I've made them. I made them the first few years I built the site. I made them as my traffic grew. But here's the best part. I wrote them all down. I wrote down what I did wrong, why it was wrong, and what effect it had on my business. And even more importantly, how to avoid it. I sell this book for $9.99, but if you take the free trial today, the Lead Forensics, 
for seven days. I'm going to give you a copy of this book for free. And even if you don't become a lead forensics client after seven days, I want you to keep this book with my compliments. Because I want to see you grow your traffic. I want to see you cut your learning curve. And I want to see you explode your business. But that's not all. I have one more bonus today for you in the traffic trifecta. This is my LinkedIn invite intensive video series. Now I charge people $1,000 to go through this video training and any additional questions they may have to copy my exact strategy. Now, this LinkedIn strategy that I'm going to give you on this video series, 10 times my LinkedIn connections in a year. So from in a year, I used a software, which I'm going to show you how to get, and a perfect invite script. I rewrote this script seven times. Seven times to get it to where I could basically push a button, 90 seconds a day, set it up, the software runs, and this invite picks up connections on autopilot. I'm going to give all this to you in the video series. Again, I charge $1,000 for this, but I'm going to give it to you for free if you take the seven-day lead forensics free trial. Now, I want to sum up what you get today for this traffic trifecta offer. You're going to get a seven-day free trial to lead forensics. It's going to help you identify anonymous visitors on your website. The seven-day free trial is also going to give you real-time page alerts for the pages these anonymous visitors go to. And number three, the seven-day free trial also grants you access to the decision maker contact information of the companies that these anonymous visitors work for. Bonus number one, a digital copy of my free traffic frenzy book. And bonus number two, LinkedIn invite intensive video training. The total value I would usually give this away for is over $1,000. But if you take the lead forensics seven day free trial today, you get everything for no cost. Now, even if you don't become a lead forensics client, and you cancel after the seven days, I want you to keep the free traffic frenzy book. I want you to keep the LinkedIn invite intensive video training for no cost, for my compliments. Because I'm so sure that you're gonna get value out of the lead forensics trial. I wanted to combine all three things to turn your website into a traffic generating machine and to take the anonymous traffic you're getting and convert it into leads and then sales. So today only, I'm going to summarize this offer. You get the Lead Forensics 7-Day Free Trial. You get a digital copy of my Free Traffic Frenzy book. You get the LinkedIn Invite Video Intensive. All this for no cost. All you have to do is sign up on the button that I'm, I'm going to show you. And I'll show you the link at the end. 7-Day Free Trial Lead Forensics. That's all you need to do. And I want to offer my personal no-risk 100% satisfaction guarantee. After you take the 7-day lead forensics trial, if you don't become a client, if you don't become a client, keep the book and keep the video training my compliments because I want to help you grow your traffic. And if you like what you read, if you like what you see, I'd like to work together with you in the future. And this is my way of extending goodwill and helping you start that journey to explode your traffic and... Learn how to get intelligence on anonymous website visitors. So finally, one more time. The Traffic Trifecta is yours today for free with a seven-day free trial to lead forensics. And I want you to remember before we sign off today, no matter what you learned, there's power from taking 98% of anonymous visitors, identifying their information, learning the pages they visit, getting their contact information, and remember, just like the digital business card, you get to contact these people while they're in the buying cycle, while they're on your website, while they're thinking about you. You can't imagine how powerful that is. And to have a software to serve it up on a platter and do it for you, how much is that worth to your business? So finally, today, the traffic trifecta, 
I'm, I'm showing a button now on the screen. You can click that. If you want to type the URL in, it's at the bottom of the screen. Just donsevcik.com forward slash identify dash anonymous dash visitors. That's it. Once you get to that screen, it's going to ask you for your name, your email, and your website. And you need the website because my buddy Jason Rowe is going to contact you after you sign up. He's going to get you set up with a seven-day free trial. He's going to get you the script to start tracking all the anonymous visitor intelligence on autopilot. You put the script in your site once, you're done. You do nothing else. You just get to sit back, look at the screen, and watch the intelligence flow through. Take the Lead Forensics 7-Day Free Trial. Take the two bonuses I'm offering. Combine them all together and watch your business and your website traffic transform. I want to thank you for watching this webinar. My name is Don Sevcik. Thank you for spending the time with me, and I'm excited to share this software and these bonuses with you today. Thank you.